guys, it's Mina. Welcome back. Today we are going to be doing something a little different. I'm still playing with my pretzel pour, and I want to figure out a way to get more of the overlapping design, the cross part. So I had an idea, and I'm going to play with that. First I tried more paint on the canvas, now I'm going to try something a little bit different. Uh, let me show you my colors real fast. I have Payne's Gray here from Golden's. I think I'm going to thin that out a little bit because I think I'm going to use that as my base coat. I have Golden's Prussian Blue, which is a great color. I have DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Copper. Thank you, dear. I have the DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. I have Golden's co uh, Cobalt Blue, just a little bit, not a lot, half a cup. And then this one is a little different. This is DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics in Silver, and to that I have added a little bit of the Payne's Gray, and it's made this beautiful, like, very light silvery blue. It reminds me of the color I wore for my sister's wedding. <laughs> it's a pretty dress. Anyway, okay, so, and I have black from Artist Law. Um, I was first playing with putting a black background on there, but it was making the gold weird, so I may not even use that. Now, that's why the test canvases are really good. Okay, that there. All right, so we're gonna use our paints as the background color, not as our in our cup. So, to that end, if that is the base coat, we're gonna start with some copper, and what I'm gonna do is kind of use the blues in between the metallics. I may actually end up using some of the things here, I don't know. Okay. Now this is really pretty, this combination of the Prussian blue and the silvery blue. It looks really neat together. Now I'm gonna go to cobalt. And some gold. Back to the Prussian blue. So, to that end, let's spin out our paint spray a little bit, and we will use this as our base coat. I had half a cup of this left from my pour yesterday, the paint's great, and I wanted more, so I meant to mix up a brand new cup, but then I just ended up accidentally putting Floetrol in the paint that I already had mixed yesterday, so obviously it already had Floetrol in it, so then it was thin, and I said, alright, well I'll just go in and add some more paint to this big cup that already had the Floetrol mixed in it, and it was not good. <laughs> Because what ended up happening was I had this big lump of solid paint, and what it did was give me these little lumps that I don't like. So bits of paint that didn't get stirred up very well because there was too much liquid in there, so they were just floating around. So if you want to do that, you want to add more solid paint to your cup, do it in a small cup first, mix it with a tiny bit of your already mixed up paint, and then when that's done, then pour that into your big cup. Don't just put a big ton of solid paint into like half a cup of already mixed up, because it won't work well. Like I see all these lump things. 
which is part of the reason that I decided to use this as a base coat because I realized I could smooth it out with the saw lumps versus if they're in core. Okay. Alright, so now that we have our base coat on there, what I want to do is I've used a lot of metallics in this, so hopefully they're going to pop a lot against that paint gray. So, let's see, let's see. How are I going to do X's? So that's cool because I like that you still see the lines. Now the last time I made a mistake and I stretched that part this way first and there was too little paint on there to be able to keep that shape. So I'm going to just push some paint down there and see if we can't hook that over the edge. It's kind of rolling over itself a little bit. Okay, we're going to come over here now. Push it back down. That's cool, it's working. So this is kind of working how I had hoped because the more paint on their theory was not working well versus the less paint stretched out theory is working. It's maintaining the integrity of the lines. You can see all the separate colors, which is great. to pour on it again but I like this I think it's gonna dry pretty cool and uh, it's not exactly that overlapping thing that I wanted to happen as much as I wanted it to happen but it is happening a little bit and you still do maintain the separation of the lines of colors and I like the colors in this so I think it's gonna be really neat when it grows. We're starting to get little cells popped up, which is always nice. Okay. The only thing I'm not crazy about is I want a little bit more of this paint gray on that bit. that one like that and uh, hope that it does what I want it to do. <laughs>
not really what I wanted, but it's not bad. And if I had more, actually, you know, I am going to close it. Because I'm not in love with it. And I think it can be better. But I have an idea now of what I want to do. So we're going to go a little thicker on the blue. And maybe not quite so thick on the metallics. So, let's do this again. Wider bit. Okay, actually, this is great. much better. I like it. <laughs> so, this is really cool. I like how this turned out. I love this. You see all these overlapping sections where the lines maintain their design and the integrity. That's awesome. So, spread it out more and uh, go slow <laughs> and focus it's really cool though I like it alrighty so I will show you this one when it's dry or try to because it's taken a really long time for things to dry now that it's winter so I don't know <laughs> you might get a mostly dry <laughs> all right I'll see you guys later thanks okay so this is the copper pretzel pour this is about a week later. It's finally dry. It took a really, really long time, but look at that copper. Look at all those metallics. Isn't that gorgeous? That's so cool. So that's the silver in there mixed with the Payne's gray that I mixed with the Payne's gray and used as a silver color. You can see it here floating in that line. Oh, so pretty. Love it. 
but the copper is coming through beautifully. I have not varnished this yet. This has Liquitex gloss medium and varnish as the pouring medium. You see those metallics blinging there? That's so cool. Ah, I love it. There you go. Very blingy. Very cool. Um, I will probably varnish this. I'm probably going to use um, Krylon Archival varnish. It's a glossy spray varnish. UV resistant. Look at these lines. I mean, it's so pretty. So you see that beautiful, like, kind of braided part. Very cool. So that was a result of spreading the rings, the loops out more and going slow and having my paint slightly thicker. I'm telling you, man, that second pour, <laughs> I think it has a lot to do with the paint has been tilted off and there's like the perfect amount of surface tension on there. So everything just glides really easy. When I was watching the video, I was like, wow, that's still moving so nice. It's not rolling over itself. So, very cool. And there's still a little Payne's Gray in there, like the darker, darker areas of the dark blue. Very pretty. I love this one. This is awesome. Cool. So that's the pretzel pour in copper and 24 karat gold and silver and the Prussian blue and the Payne's Gray was the base coat. So that's really, really neat. I like that. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and coming along on this journey, this little pretzel detour <laughs> I've taken. <laughs> this one's like a pretzel with mustard almost. I don't know what the blue would be. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys want to see more of my work, you can check out Mina Villegas Art on Facebook. You can also check out my Etsy shop, which is also Mina Villegas Art. There's also a PayPal me link in the description box if you would like to be a patron of the arts and help me keep stocked up in paint and supplies and canvases and things like that. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. You guys are so awesome. I have like such nice people who've been sending, you know, donations. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I can't tell you. It's so heartwarming. And you guys are like, oh, you helped me. You taught me. It was so nice. Just, you're so sweet. I love you guys. Anyways, this is another copper pretzel pour. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you for the next one. Have a great day. Bye-bye. So I kind of did what you're not supposed to do, and I put a can of spray varnish on it real quick. <laughs> but look at that. Look at that sparkle and that shine. Right, that's where all your metallics really start to really just pop and sparkle. It's so cool. It's just amazing. Whew. I love that. Anyway, <laughs> don't tell anyone. <laughs> don't tell the pouring police. <laughs> anyway, seriously, you are supposed to wait. But I did wait. It was more than a week that this was drying, so it was totally dry. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> Thanks for watching.